hundreds of New Yorkers demanding racial equality. Y'all got to pull up and vote because Brianna can't. Leading the way, Brianna Taylor's mother, Tamika Palmer, and the family up. of Eleanor Bumpers. Both Taylor and Bumpers were killed by police officers. Taylor died in March, and Bumpers, a black disabled elderly woman, died All in New York in 1984. When does it stop? When do we become somebody that somebody thinks about? Palmer says she doesn't want anyone else to lose a loved one at the hands of police or violence, so she's putting her attention on the election season, asking others to join in her fight for justice and peace. We in these streets. If it ain't going to be no justice, it ain't going to be no peace. This rally outside of Trump International and Central Park West is entitled State of Emergency Get Out the Vote. Organizers from Until Freedom started the tour in Breonna Taylor's hometown of Louisville, making its way to the streets of New York alongside dozens of elected officials. So I always want to make sure we create some space to say we are not okay. Declaring the current national climate an emergency. We believe that going to the ballot box in massive numbers and a collective unified voice to talk to talk about changing this nation and shifting it on a trajectory moving forward. With hope there's strength in numbers and a vote towards change. This is the manifestation of a bloodline that birthed a nation. Until Freedom has several more tours planned across the East Coast and in the Southeast from now until Election Day. We're live on the Upper West Side. Rebecca Solomon, PIX11 News.